Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot reading for the week of November 28th through to December the 4th. I already shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Tower in the upright, followed then by the Page of Wands upright. Next, we have the King of Wands upright. Followed then by Major Arcana, the Magician in the Upright, and lastly, the King of Cups. Mm, what an interesting reading here. All of your cards are in the upright position. You have two Major Arcana, and the rest are all potential people. Your overall energy, Scorpio, is the Tower in the upright position. This is representative of shocking news. Uh, coming your way, it could be um, anything from like a world event to um, something personal that happens. This is something that comes out of the blue. You do not see this coming. And uh, it takes quite a lot to shock Scorpio. So not sure what this is. Please do leave a comment in the comment section below if this resonated if this ends up resonating for you but sometimes the tower can represent that it's it's news that just comes out of the blue this is not something you can prepare for you could maybe guess at, at what it could be but it just comes out into the open now sometimes this can represent um something happening where like say for example all of a sudden your you know your water tank goes that's something out of the blue you you're not expecting that especially not before christmas or something breaks down your roof starts leaking or things like that it could be something like that for some of you for others of you it just feels like it's just shocking news especially with the, with all these people in the reading now so some shocking event is and it's like your overall energy for the week so something comes out of the blue shocks you but then right at the beginning of the week we have the page of wands in the upright position it is a core card could be representing a person if it's representing a person this is fire energy aries leo sag sun moon or rising now the page of wands is known as good news he's the good news messenger he brings good news to you so it could be for some of you Scorpios, the good news is shocking you. It's shocking the pants off you. Like it could be anything from something arriving and it could be something really elaborate. And you're like, wow, I did not expect that in a million years. Maybe somebody is sending you something in the mail, a really fantastic gift. Maybe it's an offer of something to come, a really good job, or it could, it's something over the top though. It's something you did not see coming at all. So there's good news here. Sometimes, like I keep telling people about the tower, sometimes the uh, news and the information or the shocking um, event can be something positive. It's not people always just assume it's, you know, everything can crumble down. Yes, it's true. It's very transformative energy, the tower. This is about something you know the foundations of just like giving out from underneath us so sometimes that can be the case but remember even if it is something that's not very uh like you know all of a sudden your water tank uh it does but i'm just going to use this as an example it could be that somebody comes in and you didn't expect them to but they're saying oh, you know, I'm going to uh, pay for this new water tank for you or whatever. Merry Christmas. It could be something like that. So I'm just saying, I don't know what it is. This is a general read. That's why we count on you guys to leave the comments and let us know what's happening because it's different for all of us. So for some of you, it's just shocking news that comes in and you're like, wow, did not see that coming. It could be shocking news that, that changes your world. Like sometimes the tower can be a world shakeup where... It can be the destruction of the old. Perhaps uh, something happens in your house and then you have to go, you know, get another place, but the the other place is even better. Sometimes good things can come from difficult situations. Now, I'm not saying this is a difficult situation. It's something that's just going to kind of blow your mind. So the Page of Wands also, for some of you, can represent news about travel maybe this is you know shocking news about somebody coming to visit you you know perhaps you're getting news about that it could be shocking news because you never expected in a million years that this person would contact you again 
we're just going to have to wait and see, right? <laughs> Next card up is now the King of Wands in the upright position. There's progression here. Something is progressing very, very quickly at the beginning of the week. So if you get a message, say, for example, Scorpio, maybe you're getting a message from someone who's offered you a job that that job would require you to move completely like to the other end of the world or, you know, just move to another town or something that would shake up your foundation. However, look at this. You're going from just getting the message to all of a sudden th that progression. We even skip the, the Knight of Wands. We go right from that to the King of Wands. So whatever this news and information is, picks up speed because wands do represent speed. Could be a lot of you, for a lot of you about your career. It could be about travel. It could be about passion. It could be about excitement. Um, again, adventure, you take your pick. The King of Wands is, is again, that uh, fiery energy, Aries Leo Sag. Could be a particular person you're dealing with, or it could just be about these types of uh, energies that the wands represent. So, um, yeah, moving on, we have the beautiful magician in the upright position. This is all about manifestation, putting all of our focus and attention and energy into manifesting something. So say, for example, you get a message that, hey, we want to hire you for our company, but you have to move to um, Spain. You know what I mean? And then this could be you manifesting um, a place, you know, because you have to get settled. You can't just move somewhere and, you know, live in your car. So it could be about you manifesting a whole new life there for whatever reason you're manifesting you're manifesting something this is where we put the blinders on and we're just manifest maybe you're manifesting a new water tank if it's the water tank that's going interesting this i i'm a scorpio as well so this reading is just kind of throwing me for a loop um like i said it takes a lot to shock a scorpio so but this looks like a good shock the, the magician being there in the upright position, this is about manifesting something, putting the blinders on and just moving towards something. The last card you have is the king of cups in the upright position. Another core card this time is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is you coming up in your own reading in the upright position, indicating whatever it is you're manifesting at the end of the week. Uh, Scorpio, you're on the right path. The King of Cups represents emotional maturity, someone who can process emotions, someone who has great compassion, understanding, and insight. Emotional insight could be kind of psychic. So this could be somebody you are dealing with. It can represent, uh, for some of you, a, a counselor, a doctor, or it could just be a family member, a friend, or it's just you yourself, perhaps. Others are sort of gravitating towards you, especially if it's an event that affects a lot of people. It could just be that people are coming towards you um, to, you know, get your insight or your psychic abilities on something. Um, interesting reading. Wow, I can't wait to hear the comments in the comment section about all of this. This is so intense. What is going on, Scorpio? <laughs> inquiry minds want to know please do leave that comment in the comment section there's a lot of people here there could your week could just be filled with um, communication with a lot of people you know there's a lot of uh, activity it's it's not just communication but wands represent activity and movement so there's movement forward it could just be something comes out of the blue could be a great job opportunity now you've got to scramble you've got to move uh yeah very very interesting reading. I don't know what else to say except thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic week and I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe and don't forget to comment. See you next week. Bye-bye.